Today we are going to talk about pancreatic digestive enzymes. But before starting for the digestive enzymes, we will discuss general physiology of digestion by the pancreatic enzymes. Pancreas is a compound gland which has similar structure like salivary gland and it is also known as endocrine and exocrine organ. Now exocrine secretions are secreted in duct. And this duct is known as pancreatic duct which joins the hepatic duct and this hepatic duct empties into the duodenum. Now the exocrine secretions are known as pancreatic secretions which contains multiple enzymes and sodium bicarbonate. But why this sodium bicarbonate? The secretion of the pancreatic juice is a response to the presence of chyme in the upper portion of the intestine. What is chyme? Chyme is a pulpy acidic material which comes from stomach to the small intestine after digestion in stomach. Now this chyme is acidic and sodium bicarbonate neutralizes it so that the intestines can bear that material. Pancreatic juice is a mixture of multiple digestive enzyme and soda bicarbonate. But the most important enzymes of these multiple enzymes are trypsin, chymotrypsin and carboxypolypeptidase. Now what are the functions of these enzymes? The proteins in the food are partially digested in stomach after mixing with HCL. Now trypsin and chymotrypsin split these digested protein into the peptides of various size. But for the absorption, protein must be converted into amino acids. So here comes the role of the third enzyme. Carboxypolypeptidase splits the peptides into the individual amino acids but food also contains carbohydrates and fat these two are also digested by the pancreatic secretions for carbohydrates the enzyme used is pancreatic amylase this enzyme hydrolyzes the starch glycogen and carbohydrates and it forms disaccharides or trisaccharides. Now let's talk about fat. The main enzyme for digestion of fat is pancreatic lipase which hydrolyzes the neutral fat to monoglycerides and the remaining two enzymes are cholesterol esterase which causes hydrolysis of cholesterol esters and phospholipase that splits the fatty acids from the phospholipids. Now here comes a question. Pancreas is also made up of protein and pancreas is not having a mucosal layer like stomach and intestines are having. Then why don't trypsin and chymotrypsin digest the pancreas? It is because all these pancreatic enzymes are inactive in the pancreas. They are also known as trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen and procarbopolypeptidase. They activate after coming in intestine. Trypsinogen is activated by the enzyme called as enterokinase which is secreted by the intestinal mucosa and once the trypsinogen is converted into the trypsin. This trypsin converts chymotrypsinogen into the chymotrypsin. And this is also happens for the procarboxypeptidase.